guys. So it is Sunday, March 18th, and today is Max's sixth birthday. He is six years old today, and I'm giving him a bath. I'm going to give all the boys a bath. They all are in desperate need of a bath. Um, I haven't given them one in a couple weeks, a, good, a full bath. I've washed their beards and their feet and all that, but um, not a good full bath. So I'm going to get him all cleaned up so I can take his birthday photo. And I don't know what else I'm going to do. I already bought him a um, couple birthday toys and may go to Dairy Queen and get some uh, ice cream for the boys. Just a little bit, not too much. I might buy the, uh, just the pint of uh, their vanilla ice cream and scoop a little of the bowl for them. So yes, I'm gonna get him cleaned up. And I've been using this, um, I've been meaning to tell you guys, I haven't had as many videos lately because well, just a couple, bunch of different reasons I'm not going to go into, but um, I tried taking, as you know, I have three dogs on Aquaquil for um, allergies. Well, no, no, don't lick, no, don't lick the shampoo. Don't lick the shampoo. <laughs> um, on Aquaquil for allergies, and I tried taking them off. They've been off it for now, I want to say two weeks, two and a half weeks. Well, and that would be uh, Marley, Max, and Miggy. And Miggy, within about, oh, it was about a week and a half, started really itching again. Just itching everywhere. Um, not really biting his feet, just itching everywhere. So I put him back on the Apoquil. But Max and Marley have been doing really good. And I've been washing their feet with this. Let's see here if I can get in camera. This stuff here. This was uh, prescribed um, by our vet um, a while ago when they were having yeast infections on their feet. When they first start, I started noticing them licking their feet a lot. Well, when they lick their feet a lot, that moisture, they get yeast infections. So I started thinking... <sighs> What if they were just biting their feet due to the yeast infections and not really allergies? Maybe because their feet were wet. They, my dogs are outside all the time in the wet, snow, whatever. Long story short, I'm trying them without taking the Apoquil because I really don't want them to have to be on Apoquil um, forever if they don't have to. And so I've been washing their feet with that. And I've been using... Oh, let me turn that off. I've been using this mousse that I was also prescribed, but you can buy this stuff on Amazon, the shampoo and the mousse, if your dogs have yeast infections on their feet. So I've been doing that, and Max and Marley haven't been itching. Knock on wood, um, so far. Now that shampoo's gotta sit on his feet for a couple minutes, so. I'm going to let that sit and lather them up with the other shampoo. And this is just a store brand oatmeal shampoo I'm using. So yeah, they've been doing pretty good so far. Because Max, I would really not, I would really love to take him off a long-term medication just because of his, he's had medical issues in his short six lives. He's had pancreatitis attack. He had his spinal stroke. And, um... Which the Apoquil won't affect any of that. But I'd just like to... All my dogs, I, I wish they didn't have to be on a long-term medication. So I'm just trying it. And so far, so good with Max and Marley. I hope I'm making sons, guys. <laughs> I hope I'm making sons. I'm tired. Um, I woke up with a terrible headache. And I don't know why, because I've been sleeping pretty good. Um, I got some magnesium, mag magnesium oil... A wonderful subscriber sent me some magnesium lotion and while it worked okay it didn't really take away the um, pain in my legs and stuff that I get at night and my hips and this magnesium oil is wonderful 
Um, I'll have to link it below. I'll, after I give him a bath, I'll show you. Would you stop eating the soap? Don't lick the soap on you. No, you do not want to lick the soap. Um, it's been working great. My legs don't hurt. My hips, I notice when I wake up, they're a little sore. But oh my goodness, this stuff works wonderful. And I've been reading up about how so many of us are magnesium deficient. And magnesium is important for so much stuff. And people use that oil for so much stuff. I mean, even for deodorant, a natural deodorant. Um, sometimes it'll sting when you put it on. So I'm kind of scared to spray it in my armpits <laughs> for deodorant. But my friend did. I bought her some because I was telling her about how wonderful it works. And she said it didn't sting on her. Max, you don't want to lick the soap. No. So, I've been sleeping better, so I don't know why I woke up with this headache. I think it's sinus, because the weather's again changing and all that. So, yeah, so I'm, I don't know if I'm, if I'm talking in circles or what, since I'm tired. <laughs> and my head's bothering me, but I gotta get this done. I gotta get them washed. I gotta take this photo. Okay, we gotta wash your beard now. And uh, he's kind of hard to wash because of his back leg, but he's still... You might have got to put your face down. Um, he doesn't have a lot of strength in it, so... He kind of moves around a lot and slides. and Gotta be gentle. Yes, I'm hanging on to your beard here because you keep wanting to keep your head back. And if you put water up your nose, you're not going to be able to breathe. Some people I've had some comments and I'm too rough with my dogs and I'm not. If I was hurting my dogs, they would let me know. <laughs> they let me tell you, they would let me know. So if I if I gotta hold his face on this for his own good so I can um, get him clean and he's not getting water up his nose. Let me tell you, that'd be a lot worse. So yeah. So we're gonna get Max cleaned up. And hopefully he'll let me take his photo and he'll look at the camera. He does not like to look at the camera at all. At all. And let's wash your head. Yeah. Wash your head. Okay, I'm gonna finish him up. I'm gonna stop blabbing. Let me get this done. Well, I got a picture of Max. For his birthday. The boys are outside with my husband. You see Miggy chasing him with the ball. He's putting the ball right right in his way so when he walks towards him he'll see it. <laughs> so I got a picture of Max and I'll share it at the end of this video. Max is so hard to take photos of. Oh my goodness he will not look at the camera. He's easily distracted. If a dog could have ADHD, I think it'd be Max. <laughs> he He's terrible to take photos of. So anyway, so they're also having my husband. It's, it's going to be a nice day today. I think it's supposed to be... It's supposed to be 50 at least. <laughs> it's Mickey running. And there's Magnum running after him. So yeah, they're hanging out with my husband right now. And I got to get the house cleaned. So let me show you that mineral oil real quick. Okay, here's the mineral oil. Not mineral. Why do I keep saying mineral? Well, it is a mineral. <laughs> magnesium oil. Pure magnesium oil. It's by Life Flow. And I spray this. I have it in here in the on the shelf in the dog room. Um, I spray this all over my legs, my knees, my ankles, my toes. Because those would be, would be sore in the middle of the night. And I put some on my hips. And it has helped so much. I can actually sleep four to five hours straight. And now I know that don't seem like a lot, um, but I was waking up almost every hour um, having to stretch my legs and sometimes even having to get up and walk around. So with this stuff, I'm able to sleep four to five hours. And Cheryl from, I think her, her channel is called Cheryl's Country Home. She told me about this stuff and I'm so appreciative, Cheryl, because I can actually get a couple hours of decent sleep. I mean, deep sleep to where I'm having like vivid dreams, deep sleep. 
So this stuff work is wonderful. I'll link it below in case you're interested or interested in trying it out. But I've been reading a lot of stuff now and watching a lot of videos about how when we're low in magnesium or deficient in magnesium, how it can affect so many different things um, in us. So yeah, this stuff has worked. Uh, it's like a miracle. <laughs> Hi guys, so I'm going to be completely, totally honest, it is the next day after Max's birthday, <laughs> that headache did me in. I washed the boys and, here, let's show you something besides my table. I washed the boys, I trimmed up their eyes, trimmed up their butts, trimmed up their paws, cut their toenails. Um, after I gave them all baths and I just didn't do anything after except watch my Spartan basketball team lose, which Max sat on my lap the whole game and he comforted me. <laughs> Thank you, Max. Thanks for comforting me <laughs> when I was so upset. <laughs> so Max did not get his frosty paws. I never went to the store. I'm a bad schnauzer mom because I wasn't prepared and I didn't buy it beforehand. Um, I just did nothing the rest of the night. I just laid around, um, popped ass, some Tylenol, and I haven't had a headache like that in a while. Um, I used to get bad migraines uh, before I found out I had high blood pressure. And it wasn't as bad as a migraine, um, but I'd say... Just just under a migraine, I'd say. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, did nothing. So, Max, your birthday is going to be followed into this day. So, I'm going to get my butt moving. Go get his Frosty Paws. I did give him a, his, uh, I did get him a birthday gift, which was a little mouse cat toy. Because he loves those little, uh, the mouse cat toys. Not the ones with the catnip in them. But the little stuffed mouse and he likes to carry it around by the tail <laughs> like he's killed something so yeah so he did get a birthday present yesterday but i did not get his frosty paws sorry i'm getting a drink over here oh, my throat's been bothering me i really think it's sinus because <clears throat> the weather's just been crazy it doesn't know if it wants to be winter or spring here in michigan so i got some happy mail my son after school um, he only has four classes. He's a senior. He's graduating this year. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Um, my son's had a hard time through school. He has ADHD, and um, but I know he's going to do it. He's going to pull it out, and he's, he's going to be done. So he went to my P.O. box after school and grabbed some mail. I had been in a couple days, and I received a couple things, and I wanted to share it. So the first thing I got was a card from Jennifer and her family from Texas. And she sent this cute card. And it has a uh, donation for my um, emergency fund for the boys. And I'm gonna send you out a picture, Jennifer. And um, she wrote a little note inside talking about how she had, she started watching my videos when he, she got her first Schnauzer Gwen. And after watching my video, she decided to get a second schnauzer for her Gwen. And uh, that schnauzer's name is Dodger. And she said it was the best decision she ever made. So, and I think any schnauzer needs another schnauzer. Because I, I really do think they need to be a, at least a small pack. <laughs> and her daughter drew a picture of her schnauzers, Gwen and Dodger. So thank you for the picture. She said her daughter's five years old and she likes to watch in, uh, our videos too. And she wanted to send this picture to me. So I'm going to hang this with them um, in my uh, grooming room. So thank you guys. I'm going to be sending you out that picture of the boys peeking through the fence here soon. Um, and then I got a birthday card for Max today the day after so you must christine you must have the boys birthdays written down because i was surprised to get a birthday card for him and here's the front it's your birthday today 
and she sent him a very nice gift. I'm gonna keep that anonymous, but she sent him a very nice gift and it says, Sweet Max, can I get a woof woof? Yes, you can. Happy birthday, six years old today, you sweet boy. Love, Christine. So thank you so much, Christine. And then I got this box from Amazon. Um, it didn't have a card or anything on that saying who it's from. And it is some Peeps dog toys. Let me take one out. It's the chicks. They're so cute. I have an idea who I think it's from, but I'm not sure because usually there's a um, little note in the box, but there was no note. So four of those and then four of the bunny peeps. And they all have a squeaker in them too. <laughs> so these are so cute. And the boys just came running. Yeah, see? Yes, they're hitting get Magnum. <laughs> they're hitting the chair that my tripod's on. No, no, get down. I'll give it to you in a minute. <laughs> and then there were these cute uh, donkey treats. Whoops, now I'm hitting the camera. Magnum, get, get down. I know, I know. You can't wait. I know. Claudia's Canine Bakery. I'm sorry if my camera keeps moving. So I'm going to open these and give the boys a treat. So I'll be right back. Okay, here's the box open. Here's a little doggy bone with frosting. This looks like maybe an Easter basket, maybe? It looks like a bunny on it, on the face. And is this a doggy bowl? Maybe a doggy bowl? Now this one I'm gonna have to break up and uh, give it to the boys uh, in pieces. <laughs> I'm trying to get five out here with the frosting because some of them, yeah, it's a doggy bowl. Some of them don't have the frosting on it. So I'm trying to get some with the frosting. So whoever sent this, thank you. There's no note. So let me know in the comments below. Yep, I got a treat for you boys. Max gets it first because remember we're extending his birthday. Yes, we are. We're extending Max's birthday because I was a bad schnauzer mom. Look at their faces already. I made them so pretty yesterday. They're already messy. Got to brush you. Okay, could everybody back off a little? <laughs> okay, sit. Everybody's got to sit. Magnum, you got to sit. You got to sit. Okay, Mac. No, Max goes first, Max. There you go. And then Marley. How do you like those? How did you like that, Max? How did you like it? Did you like it? Yeah? You gotta brush your face again. Yeah. Well, they liked them. I don't think, have I ever given them a treat, guys, that they don't like? <laughs> I don't think I have. Now, I know Mozzie, he, he likes bananas, but he don't really like bananas. He just eats it because the other boys are. I think that's, look at that. I think we need to get the brush and the uh, Mr. Water Bottle out and clean your faces up give you a brush yes did you like them did you like them so thanks everybody for the mail so nice of you guys to think of us so I will be back after I pull myself together it's already one o'clock and I just got out of the shower and yeah it was not a great night <laughs> so I'm gonna go get myself together go to the store get Max's frosty paws yes get you some frosty paws <laughs> He felt the love yesterday, though, didn't you? You felt the love anyways, didn't you? Even though you didn't get your frosty paws. Yes. Yes. Okay, we'll be back. Think Mozzie likes the peeps? Think Mozzie likes the peep toys? Yes. <laughs> look, at, look at him. Look at Magnum. Like, don't you dare, don't you dare take my peeps. <laughs> oh yeah they love the toys too almost forgot to show you marley's got one over here and mickey's teasing magnum yes you are aren't you yes max is just sitting here with me yes oh magnum's gonna be brave and take a couple 
Yes, yeah, so they love the toys too. Thank you so much. Okay, guys, I thought I would explain the shampoo and mousse I used yesterday on Max when I was giving him a bath, the video clip I took of giving him a bath. I didn't really explain the shampoo and mousse very well. <laughs> so I thought I'd get on and explain it a little better. I'm using these two products as a preventative for yeast infections in their paws. And every couple days I usually wash the dog's feet and their faces. Um, Cause they just need it from being outside all the time. And I use this shampoo on three of the boys that have the problems and um, allergies. And after, now this you have to let sit on their feet a couple minutes before you rinse it. And then this mousse you put on their feet afterwards and you just let it dry and it stays on. I've also used this spray here. I'm trying to get the glare off here. I've also used this too, which works great, but I prefer the mousse better. It's easier to apply it to their paws than this spray. Now, if you go to the vet, and I suggest if your dog's having a major problem with their paws, licking them constantly, the orange staining and all that, go get them tested and see if they have a yeast infection. Now, when your vet prescribes this, um, now it may not be this brand, um, you'll have to use this every day at least this is what my vet prescribed. Wash your feet every day, let it sit on it for 10 minutes, and you need to let it sit on for 10 minutes before you rinse it. And I think I had to do it for like two weeks and then apply the mousse. Um, so I'm just using it as a preventative. You do not have to have a prescription for this. You can buy this on Amazon and I'll try to find the links for it and put them below uh, for these two here. I'll link this one too, but I think you'd prefer the mousse too um, over the spray. So, but if your dogs, and I want to, I want to stress, I'm not trying to tell you that this is going to cure everything going on with your dog's feet. If your dogs have sores or bleeding sores or hair loss on their paws from biting them and um, chewing on them and licking them, take them to the vet. <laughs> Don't just buy this and think that this is going to cure it because it may be something more serious. So I don't want anybody yelling at me saying, oh, I bought this and it didn't work. If, if there's a serious problem going on, take your dog to the vet. I get a lot of messages and comments um, with people asking me for almost medical help and for their dogs. And I can only try to give you some info if my dogs have been through what your dogs are going through. I can only... Um, kind of give you some help if I've experienced before. If your dog's not acting normal or there's sores or there's blood involved, there's diarrhea, constant diarrhea, throwing up, take your dog to the vet <laughs> because that's what I'm probably going to tell you to do. Um, if it's anything serious, look at this cuteness right here. Look at this cuteness. <laughs> they got tired out. Look at this. They got the peep toys everywhere. Now my low, I have low battery. It's flashing at me. So, anyways, I just wanted to share these products that I use um, and just give you a little information on that. Try to get Marley? Did you try to get Marley? Kitten loves the box that the uh, the treats and the toys came in. I see if he tries to get Max when I let him in. Come on, Max. He's <laughs> when I let in uh, Miggy. Who ran in? Miggy, Monsey, and Marley as they ran by. He, <laughs> he was trying to get them. <laughs> you don't like that kitty in the box, Max? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Max is nervous. Says, What's going on? You guys want to back out because the kitty's trying to get you? You want to back out? Coming back in, Max. You don't know what to do. I think he wanted out because Magnum's squeaking that ball. Kitty, you trying, to, you trying to give some paybacks? You trying to give some paybacks? 